what is going on guys it is your boy joe and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys and teaching you kind of a step-by-step -step breakdown on how i create my sports posters so in today's video this is something that i offer in my design course but i want to give some knowledge to you know my supporters and teach you guys how to make amazing art so the start of this video mainly i'm just masking out my subject and then i'm just trying to make sure it's perfect and then i'm working around getting the colors right for the vibe i'm going for i've been seeing a lot of red designs lately if you're seeing all those designs i really just wanted to try something myself because to the eye i really think that you know red and black just absolutely hit so that was my goal with this design so i'm still kind of going through the masking process because some parts are just a little weird and i want to make sure this is absolutely perfect because this is the only subject i'm going to have in this image so i want to make sure everything is as flawless as possible for this design so i'm basically just really getting in there and just making sure my hue and saturation layer is 100 percent perfect on my mask and i'm going to play around with the curves and start beginning to you know retouch my subject we all have our you know certain ways to retouch and this is a way that i found works best for me and is the most time efficient i guess and doesn't take a lot of time i've been kind of playing around with the sampled colors tab in photoshop and then just playing around with the shadows and highlights and you know raising my exposure and decreasing the exposure to get the decreasing for the shadows and increasing for the highlights so i'm still mainly just retouching right here and i'm starting to add light to the background that matches my subject now i'm starting to get into the text this part of the design kind of takes me a while i was kind of thinking of a lot of things and i had a lot of you know inspiration on my other monitor that i was kind of going for i guess but it didn't really work out for the sake of this design it was a lot of trial and error as you guys can see it honestly probably about 30 to 40 minutes of this design uh the total time for this was about an hour and 16 minutes about 30 to 40 minutes of this was just me trying to figure out how i'm going to make this work usually this is always the part that always takes up most of my time is trying to you know connect everything together and figure out the text it's always something i've struggled with i wouldn't say i struggle with it but you know it's definitely harder for me to come up with text layouts and just creating composition that's just something that always comes easy to me so this part of the video you guys can literally just see me just absolutely going through with the layout and just trying to figure out something smooth i wanted to keep something basic which kind of stays relative to my other posters and i've been kind of keeping the same style lately and honestly for the last month as well i've kind of been in a little bit of a, a block state so i'm trying to stay refresh and use things that i've already done just so i don't overcomplicate things and burn myself out again i can't stress it enough too when it does come to overcomplicating please just like try and stay away from it as much as you can because something i've learned over you know my years of designing is when i find myself overcomplicating things or really like nitpicking my final designs and just i guess adding things that aren't really necessary or just trying to be like a perfectionist is definitely something i've learned that burns me out over the course of time and it's something i have to be i guess cautious of and make sure i you know don't find myself falling in that hole again every time i feel like i'm falling in that hole again it's always when i feel like my creative momentum and just social media momentum is on an all-time high and the creative block just comes crashing in at the worst times but sometimes you gotta you know face adversity and push through and it's something that i've learned over the years where slacking isn't really an option and it's something i kind of deal with every day because you know being a creative on a daily basis is extremely hard and thinking of you know unique ways to uh, you know come up with new concepts and create and just you know show the world that you can be different at it as a designer is definitely something that's hard and you know something that i'm learning to accept that not every day i'm going to be able to create something like holy shit i just did that or you know I wanted to jump back into the design part of this because you know that's what we're all here for uh so in this part of the video i'm basically just breaking down uh some text i saw a couple of ideas on pinterest that's something i use daily and just trying to learn and just overall practice for the new designers who are kind of afraid to jump into sports posters one thing i can recommend is you know grabbing something that you like or you know visually looks good to you and just you know trying to replicate the concept yourself because you know at the end of the day you're only teaching yourself how to do new things and that's something that i've done you know along my journey and has definitely helped me improve and just overall opening photoshop and just trying something i've never done before is just an amazing learning experience and just being able to accomplish that at the end of the whatever you're trying to you know create 
is an amazing feeling and I definitely recommend that to anyone just trying to learn. In this part of the design, I was kind of struggling with my layout, so I decided to just jump into my color grading and working on my subject's lighting and my background lighting and the textures and just overall quality of my design. And basically I'm just trying to create a layout to see how my final color correction is going to look like. I saw an idea with uh, the black and red like I mentioned earlier. So I was kind of trying to replicate the, the color vibe I was going with, I guess. So I wanted to make sure that was absolutely perfect. And then once I got that, you know, foundation set, I was able to jump back into, you know, messing with my tech. So here I'm starting to finally get the hang of the background. I'm starting to piece things together and things are starting to look good. So I found this cool font on Defont. Uh, one night I was kind of just browsing and just looking for stuff and I stumbled across it and it works perfect for this. So I got that in, I added it to my background, I tried my best to match the color with the jersey and um, I blurred it out and I added some noise. So here I'm kind of just selecting out um, our athlete's signature. I planned on using it in the design but things didn't really work out and that's okay. In this part, I'm basically just taking my background text, the red text that I use for my background, I just made it white. Uh, I just made it a little bigger and I added some more blur just to create some more depth in my image and to fill some of that empty space that I had going on. And this is something that I do in a lot of my designs is to create depth and just to create that overall, I guess, viewing experience. Because when you look at it, you want that, you want your design to pop and you want to just be like, wow, that looks insane. So every design I create, I'm trying to, you know, create that experience for anyone who comes across my work. I'm still kind of struggling here just to fill the space. Um, I went back to an old design, as you guys can see, to grab that a little piece that I used there. This is something that I created kind of on accident. I couldn't even tell you how, but on one of my older designs, I think it was the Lamello Ball poster. And ever since then, I've been using it just all the time, and it just looks absolutely insane. I can actually leave you guys a download link to that, and I think you guys will like it. In this part, I'm still playing with my color corrections. I've noticed that my reds are just a little weird, so I'm trying to get that back in. Uh, during this phase, I kind of stumbled across a concept that I really like. Um, I'm really just zooming in and just trying to match these colors, because in the beginning, I didn't really take my time to make sure they were perfect, and unfortunately, that's what I have to do here. And I was a little too far along to get it 100% right, but I definitely tried my best. One thing that I can also recommend, you guys can see here a lot in this video, is me going back to older posters that I've created and just grabbing elements that I've used to, you know, maybe incorporate them into the design that I'm creating next. And just keeping it organized is something that I can't stress enough. The last couple of designs I've made, as you guys can see what I have going on in the layers right now, it is just absolute mayhem. And going back and forth and just kind of merging everything like I was doing here, definitely makes things challenging and one thing i absolutely love to do lately is just spelling words wrong so once i do you know acknowledge the typos that i have going on going back and trying to fix them is super annoying and i've been having to use gen fill a lot to i guess you know fix my mistakes when it really shouldn't be that complicated in this portion of the video too i am retouching the eyes one thing that i can't recommend enough is just a subtle i guess hint of detail that adds so much to you know any design it's just adding just a little bit of retouching to the eyes because it makes them pop we're finally nearing the end of this design and i'm still kind of going back in there and trying to get a little more texture into my subject i tried playing around adding in some glows to this one but it didn't really work out because some of the reds kind of got a little weird and skewed with all the color corrections and whatnot I was doing I was kind of just essentially just destroying the quality of my own design throughout this and I definitely wouldn't recommend doing whatever I had going on in the layers I hope you guys were able to gather some form of insight from this video uh, it kind of gives you a closer look of what goes into my designs and really kind of how not complicated they are but in a way they are when it comes down to the color grading but that is something you can teach yourself and even just YouTube tutorials and something that helped me learn was kind of coming from a photography field, I guess. Um, I stumbled across a journey of trying to become an Instagram influencer with photography and digital art. So that really helped me learn how to use Camera Raw Filter and Lightroom. 
and learning how to use that absolutely takes every single design you make to the next level and i cannot stress that enough once again i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys have any questions please leave a comment down below and if you guys have any tutorial ideas or video ideas that you want to see from me please drop a comment down below and i will try my best to recreate that you can find me on social media at vision of joe and you can also check out my design course down below it's going to be 50 percent off use code march at checkout have a great day and thank you all for watching peace